Okay, okay, okay. So y'all already know how I feel about animation memes. I love them to death. I love art and I love watching them on a day-to-day -day basis while doing things that I should be focusing on. You know, like procrastination. You should try it sometime, it's actually pretty fun. I made a video on one type of animation meme compilations two years ago, but it's garbage. So now it's like a business meeting where we're on a first name basis this time. <laughs> Animation meme compilations are these. You see these? There's thousands, where someone just throws a bunch of animation memes, rather than a specific genre or just anything, into one video and call it a compilation. Now, the art of compilations generally is just shitty in my opinion, but we're just gonna focus on these. They could rather be in one setting or they can have their genre like underrated animation memes, sexy animation memes, edgy animation memes, cringe, etc. Like Nani said on my previous video, all animation meme compilations suck. By the way, Nani, if you're watching this, hi, hey. So here's why I don't like these. Making a compilation is as easy as so. Downloading 40 animation memes through YouTube MP4, throwing them all together in Vegas or whatever editor you use, it's that simple. Put credit in the video or maybe don't, depends on the YouTuber, then upload. Easy. It's literally that easy. You don't make any of your own content, you just kind of shove others together. This is... Silly. And no, this is not fair use. Even though some videos may claim it as such, the fair use copyright policy means you are adding entertainment or some type of value to the content. Here, you aren't. You aren't adding anything. You just download and you type to upload the video. I mean, nothing of your own is even close to being an addition. And you can't even give proper credit either. This man, for example, added nothing but ear rape and a disclaimer at the beginning of his video, and he just kind of showed beginner animators throughout the whole thing, and even with that, he didn't even credit a single video that he used. So, yeah, this is content, by the way. This is beautiful content. <laughs> and it's really like the same thing throughout every single one of them. It's just the same shit. They just kind of show beginner animators and they don't even credit. You don't even credit. You did, bro. Ugh. This is some broke shit. This is some broke ass shit. No, really. I don't respect the art of cringe compilations, but even if I did, you aren't adding anything to it. I don't see an inch of talent, no entertainment value. Just, huh, yeah, yeah. Take this shit. I'm taking your video, and it's mine now. But I'ma call it cringe and basically just totally slandy ass. Anyways, the basic stuff. If you see a video you like in here, or if your own video is here, no one cares. Like I said, this is some broke shit. There's a difference between making fun of someone and just finessing their entire video without even linking the source. Half of the ones I went on had ear rape, pepe, or a disclaimer and claimed fair use in the beginning. Once more, it's, it's not fair use. Your content sucks. Your content, <laughs> your content just sucks. No copyright law in the universe is going to stop me! Why? Ah, uh, why? Fuck you, man. Instead of cringe, we have other categories, like top 10 scary animation memes. Top 10, like ever, whoa. And then I read the description, <laughs> fuck you. Breaking news, new challenge. Every time a compilation doesn't credit any of the videos they used, take a shot. Or if you're under 21 or just you don't drink, start typing I'm pregnant to one of your parental figures. Start with the I, then the M, then continue with every instance. The reaction on their faces will be awesome or cool creepypasta memes, which is literally just a bunch of memes made by one person. So basically, this person here did a best of this YouTuber compilation by downloading a bunch of their memes and just putting it into one video. <sighs> and once more, they only credited the person's channel. I hope you typed that M to your parental figure. Or they could be on one specific meme. 16 million views, are you fucking serious? That's the last three years of my life times 16. Or they could be decent, like this one. <laughs> So that one was done by an animator called Kitty Dog. I've actually been following Kitty Dog for a long time now, and though her characters can be on the more simple side, her animation is always really smooth and really well done. Even in this video, you can see that the animating is done really well. All of the movements are super smooth. And my gosh, there are a lot of bright colors going on. See? You added commentary. You added content to it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Or maybe they won't even have a category. It could just be animation meme compilation, which is...
but at least they compiled all the videos they used into a playlist and linked it. They're putting in, I guess, slightly more effort than most. But there's one subcategory of compilations that I like to speak on. Underrated animation memes or animators. In these videos, they had the same method as before, except with much more care. The purpose of those compilations is to instead share creators whom they believe are unappreciated. This one, for example, shows the name and subscriber count when the meme starts. Pretty average for a compilation, but the way they credit the memes? This is good. This is really fucking good. This is proper credit. Oh, this is beautiful. This is so good. And if you don't believe me on how easy it is to make these compilations, though, with all of this content, I'm gonna do it right now. So, I'm just gonna reiterate my point and just do this one more time. I'm gonna speed it up after this point. <laughs> This is not content. You are not creating content, bruh. So, compilations. I love animation memes. I really do. I've expressed that multiple times, and it was mo one of my most popular videos. So, this type of content, this lazy half-assed content, can take a lot of credit and numbers away from the artists. It's very difficult to grow nowadays, especially from the ground up. Unless you have God's hand, or you're simply a different breed. I have a lot of friends who are very talented individuals who don't even get a quarter of the love they deserve. So tell me how these motherfuckers get six digits off of doing absolutely nothing nothing. Am I jealous? Uh, kinda. Yeah. The biggest person in this category was Dark BF, who got over 100,000 subs off of it, but they pretty much fell off like a year ago and deleted all of their videos. You don't make anything. You just compile shit together, and your content sucks. Except for the ones trying to shine light on underrated artists, you're alright. I respect the art for show, sure, but all in all, I don't like animation meme compilations if that wasn't blatant enough. I love art, I love you, have a good day, and ciao. I just can't feel myself I don't want no one else And when I feel too well You just smash against my shell I just can't feel myself I don't want no one else And when I feel too well You just smash against my shell I don't know where to go My dreams